Fiber, okay. So we all heard about what fiber does and we always think that fiber, it just gives us this amazing poops. But I'm gonna tell you this, after deep diving into the research, if you're consuming too much fiber and you don't have enough water, guess what? It does the opposite. Now, before I go on, I wanna know, do you know how many grams of fiber that you're eating right now? Because in today's video, I'm gonna teach you how much fiber you, can be, you should be consuming and what are the key elements to make sure that fiber is doing what you actually want to do. So what is the primary role of fiber? Well, number one, it adds bulk to food, okay? Now, fiber works in two different ways. It works as a soluble and an insoluble fiber, okay? So an insoluble fiber is like corn, but corn has soluble calories in it it's just the shell that's insoluble, so there's still calories in corn, and yeah, sure, it comes out of your poop as a whole, but your body still absorbs some of the nutrients. The soluble means that it absorbs water and it kind of puffs up like a gel, okay? Now, when it adds this puff to the gel, it starts to bind with all the bad cholesterol that sits within your gut and your arteries and et cetera, et cetera, and it kind of like grabs everything from the surrounding and pulls it along with it. So it also grabs the food and it pulls the food along with it as well. The soluble fiber would be like just adding pellets to this big soluble fiber, like this blob, and it's pushing it down, adding more weight, and it's moving its way down from the small intestines to the large intestines, and eventually down into your colon. So the difference between fiber and a regular carb, well, in a regular carb for one gram is four calories. Now, the nice thing about fiber is that it's different. And in fact, a lot of people will tell you that you can negate the grams of carbohydrates that you're eating from, from fiber from your total caloric and total carb count. So for instance, if you ate 50 grams of fiber and then your total carb count for the day was 50 grams, then most would tell you that the net grams of carbs that you consume is zero. Now that's a over generalization because there are still calories within fiber. But the research shows that instead of having one gram of carbohydrates like from bread, pasta, grains, or whatever the carb is, fruit, doesn't matter, that's four calories. But for fiber, it's actually only one to two calories per gram. So when you're looking at the calories from fiber versus calories from regular carbs, it's about half. Now, the big question is, how much fiber should you be consuming? And we'd often think, and I actually thought this myself, is that you would wanna consume more. You're like, it's half the calories, it adds bulk to my food, and it's gonna help me move my food faster, and it's gonna help me poo and get this food out of me as fast as possible. But here's the thing. The research shows that you should only be consuming about one to 1 to 1.4% of your total calories coming from fiber. So if you're eating 2,000 calories a day, that's anywhere from 20 to 28 grams of fiber per day. Now what ends up happening is the more fiber that you eat, the more water that's required. And a lot of people don't know this. And I actually did this research on a vegan client of mine, and she was having a hard time losing weight, even though she was eating clean and she was eating tons of fiber and she was staying in a caloric deficit. But what, in, what was ended up happening was that the fiber that she was consuming wasn't being digested properly because she wasn't consuming enough water so that the fiber has the substance to puff up and then eventually get metabolized and pushed down through your system. And so for a regular carb, you require three grams of water for every gram of regular carbs. But when it comes to fiber, you actually require eight grams of water for every gram of carbs from fiber that you consume. So that's a significant amount of water that you've got to consume when you have a ton of fiber in your body. So when it comes to expectations that you should have on the scale, so if you have a really high fiber day, you're more than likely going to retain more water. If you're a vegetarian or a vegan and you're getting a lot of chickpeas or different types of beans, we all know that those have high fiber and so you need to be consuming more water. And when you're consuming more water and you're consuming more fiber, it's gonna add more bulk and it's gonna stay in your system a little bit longer. Now you want that because you wanna feel fuller and longer with less calories, but at the same time, your expectations of weight loss happening from day to day aren't gonna happen like you think they should because of the fact that you're eating clean, you're in a caloric deficit, and that you're eating high fiber. 
And so in order for you to see a change in your weight, you have to find that perfect amount of fiber and water ratio that your body is metabolizing it fast enough so that you do see a progression in weight loss. So there we have it. You found out the difference between a fiber carb and a regular carb, and you found out how much percentage of your daily caloric intake should be dedicated to fiber. Now you also understand how many grams of water that you're required for every gram of fiber. So I encourage you to rewatch this video, start it from the beginning, and then start tracking your food and making sure that you are finding that perfect amount of fiber that's gonna give you the perfect amount of 